Whenever I play a video game, my twisted, calcified brain can't help but decide what it would taste like. This is especially true when I play Team Fortress 2. Today I will be rating pyro weapons by how they would taste on a scale of 0 to 10. I will not rate the all-class melee weapons because Miss Pauline cooks them so they taste the same for all classes. Plus, I already tasted them in a scout video. However, I will still review the multi-class weapons such as shotguns as each mercenary prepares them differently so they taste unique. If you disagree with my ratings, then go complain about it to your closest relative. Now, it's time to eat some firearms. Flamethrower you are sitting on your couch, watching Family Guy Subway Surfer videos, when one of your roommates tosses you a small package. You examine it, absolutely bewildered, as you stare at a package of dried Carolina Reapers. This guy really expects the two of you to eat them. Obviously, you agree. Behind the pain and pieces of dried pepper stuck in your teeth, you can feel a slightly fruity taste. The only reason you agreed to this was because you have a high heat tolerance. Your roommate, on the other hand, is a different story. You stare at him as snot and tears stream down his face. The worst part of this entire experience is using the bathroom the next day. 2 out of 10. Nostromo Napalmer. This tastes like a grilled cheese and bacon sandwich. You pan fry the bacon first so you can cook the sandwich in the bacon grease. Just before the cheese is fully melted, add on the bacon. You can throw on anything else you so desire, but the simple combination is perfect as is. Yes, it is as greasy as a truck stop bathroom, and yes, it will give you heart disease. However, the taste almost makes it worth it. 9 out of 10. Back burner. Just like Taco Bell, it burns on the way out of your backside when you're sitting on the toilet at 3 a.m. The back burner tastes like a beefy five-layer burrito. Honestly, Taco Bell tastes pretty good when you don't have somebody screaming about how bad it is in your ear. 7 out of 10. Phlogisonator. The flog is like eating only meat for a week. It's amazing at first because meat is great, of course. Unfortunately, by day three, you start feeling sluggish and find it harder to use the bathroom. By the last day, your digestive system is glued shut from lack of fiber. Regardless, at this point, everything you eat just tastes like dog food anyway. 3 out of 10. Degreaser. This tastes like quinoa. Quick to prepare, packed with protein and vital vitamins and nutrients. It cooks quickly and is perfect to elevate any dish if you need a starch or side. 7 out of 10. Rainblower. This tastes like molten taffy. I understand that those YouTube shorts make it look delicious. And look, I know you want to grab it with your bare hands, but believe me, it's the last thing you want to do. That's definitely not something I want to experience again. 0 out of 10. Dragon's Fury. It's early 2000s. You're a small child. No responsibilities, just you, your green army men, and cartoons. You eat your Dragon Tales fruit snacks, none the wiser that life will never be this simple again. 7 out of 10. Shotgun. You have been working with your job for over a year now, and are absolutely salivating for a raise. You decide to lubricate the wheels by inviting your boss to dinner. The day of the dinner is going well, and your boss is making great conversation while enjoying the meal. Unfortunately, you feel the flow beginning to slow down, and the conversation becoming awkward. Desperate, you bust out the big guns. The apple pie. Just when you think that any chance of a pay increase has slipped through your fingers, your boss says, You know, Gilbert, your name is Gilbert now, I think it's about time you got a raise. You did it. 9 out of 10. Flare gun. The key word here is flare. This tastes like a fancy dish cooked on Master Chef. More specifically, it tastes like the chicken ramelade with purple pineapple and thyme jam prepared by Kira Westwick in Season 6, Episode 5 of Master Chef, Australia. Perfectly delivered with just enough thoughtfulness that it made a huge impact on the judges. 10 out of 10. Detonator. This tastes like the sugar cookie shake from Shake Shack. You sip it and then suddenly feel pop rocks in your mouth. You did not expect the shake to have them, so it caught you off guard. I mean, it's a cool novelty and it tastes delicious. 10 out of 10. This video is not sponsored by Shake Shack or anything. However, if you're cool like that, maybe we can make something work, Shake Shack. Just send me an email at Shake Shack. Please sponsor me at gmail.com. I'll be waiting. Reserve Shooter. This is Campbell's Clam Chowder. It used to be great, but then they had to go and change it. It used to be thick and full of clams, but now it's water and full of potatoes. I'm a clam chowder, not potato water, dang it. 1 out of 10. Man Melter. Man. This pot roast really melts in your mouth. The man melter tastes like a long, slow-cooked pot roast with carrots and mashed potatoes. What really makes this dish stand out is that it was cooked uncovered for the last hour. Really helps to deepen the flavors. 10 out of 10. Scorch shot. This is like eating raw onions. It does not taste good at all, and all it does is make you smell like garbage the next day. Your obnoxious smell makes your coworkers hate you. Everyone hates you. 1 out of 10. Panic attack. The Draw Magazine looks like canned army rations. More specifically, once you crack it open, it tastes almost exactly like Emergency Ration Army Survival Food Canned Gouda Cheese 200 Grams Can MRE 7 Ounces Can All Natural. Overall, it's pretty lackluster, but this stuff has a shelf life of 5 years, so when the bombs drop and the government comes knocking, at least you'll have cheese. 
6 out of 10. Thermal Thruster. You'll be thermally thrusting your butthole onto the toilet after eating this weapon. It tastes like the blazing wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. Personally, I have a high heat tolerance and can handle the spice just fine. However, it runs through your colon like a bullet and explodes out the other end. 5 out of 10. Gas Lighter. The gas lighter tastes exactly how it sounds, light and airy. This means that the gas lighter would probably taste like buttered popcorn. A perfect light and airy snack, the gas lighter is great while watching a movie on the couch. Honestly, I'd love to have some of the gas lighter right now. I might go and heat up a bowl of my own gas lighter after I finish this video. 10 out of 10. Fire Axe. This is a slice of red velvet cake. Rich, delicious, and moist. Yes, I'm well aware that red velvet is just chocolate. I don't care. 9 out of 10. Axe Extinguisher. This is another slice of red velvet cake, but the decorator decided to get fancy and coat the outside with chopped nuts. Look, I get you're trying to innovate, but you don't need to reinvent the wheel. I just want a smooth piece of cake. I don't want to have to pick nuts out of my teeth. 7 out of 10. Postal Pummeler. This tastes like a bowl of Apple Jack cereal. It really brings back memories of your childhood. While eating breakfast before work, you remember one of them. You're watching cartoons during the summer and see the mail truck pull outside your house. Oddly enough, you don't see the mailman and hear the back door of your house open. You figure it must be your mom, so you return to your cereal and continue watching Scooby-Doo. A few minutes later, you hear some grunting and groaning coming from your parents' room. Your dad isn't home, so you figure your mom must be exercising. Wait. Home Wrecker. This tastes like partially reheated Hungry Man Frozen dinners. The Salisbury steak is still cold in the middle, and the corn is icy, but you don't bother getting up to reheat it. What's the point anyway? Lately, this has been more of a house wrecker. It hasn't been a home since she left. 1 out of 10. Mall. This tastes like Sbarro's from the Mall Food Court. A big old slice of New York style pizza, a slice of carrot cake, and some root beer. After lunch, you pretend to be interested in buying something from Sharper Image, knowing full well you won't spend a dime and are only there to use the massage chairs. 9 out of 10. Power Jack. Mmm. Good old Power Jack cheese. It's cheese. Do whatever you want with it. Eat it plain, make mac and cheese. It doesn't matter. This stuff is great regardless. 9 out of 10. Back Scratcher. This tastes like the grated Parmesan cheese that comes from the bottle with the green top. It's pretty good and goes well on a lot of things, but I recommend grating your own. 7 out of 10. Sharpened Volcano Fragment. Trust me, this is like smoking a cigarette dipped in hot sauce. 2 out of 10. Third degree. Just like the kind of murder. This weapon tastes like human flesh. You get into an argument with your wife because she didn't spot clean the entire house from top to bottom while you're at the bar for an hour. You don't control your anger, so you lash out, kill her, and consume her body. Out of 10. Lolly Chop. Looks like I screwed myself out of the propeller hat joke by using it in the scout video. Anyway, the Lolly Chop tastes like mystery flavored dum dums. It has no defined taste because it's the blending of flavors between two batches. I guess I'll have to take the average of the flavors to give it a score. 7 out of 10. Neon Annihilator. Let me set the scene for you. It's Thursday night and the bouncer decides it's not worth arguing about your fake ID and lets your group of friends into the bar anyway. Food is half off with a student ID and it's also nickel shot night. You stare at the flickering open sign, mindlessly picking away at your basket of fried pickles. You're 10 shots deep and barely hanging on. Life is good. 8 out of 10. Hot Hand. You and the boys are drunk while hanging out in the backyard at a summer barbecue. Your wives are nice and cool inside and completely ignorant to the tomfoolery about to commence. One of you dingbats has a great idea to start a slap boxing contest. The hot hand tastes like your own teeth, sweat, tears, blood, with a splash of beer. Obviously, you're sore as hell, but isn't the real swollen face the friends we made along the way? For taste, this is a 1 out of 10, but for the memories, it's priceless. If you enjoyed the video, you should check out my taste test for the other classes. I have a playlist linked as an end card at the end of this video. Which weapon was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm gonna go water my couch. Goodbye.